Hey y'all, this video is on coefficient of determination, which goes along really well with linear regression. So if you haven't watched that video, you might go back and watch it. But this will be super simple. I'm going to show you how to use it as always with a calculator. It's much faster than doing it by hand and usually more accurate. So the coefficient of determination is r squared. And what it represents is a proportion of variation in the observed values of the response variable. So how far off, um, basically how good a fit the regression equation is. So r squared tells us whether the regression equation line is a good fit for the data or not. R squared is always between 0 and 1. And 0 means that the line is not a good fit. And 1 means that the line is a really good fit and useful for making predictions. So I mentioned in my last video with linear regression that um, you know, you, you shouldn't even really use linear regression unless it, the data follows a linear pattern. And then even further than that, this coefficient of determination can tell you that, so say you've chosen to go ahead with the linear regression equation. Now you can see how good a fit it is based on the data that you have. So R squared measures goodness of fit. That's very important. Not the level of association between variables. So the coefficient of determination gives us a percentage or proportion of variation. Um, so it is represented or found by this fraction. And it is regression sum of squares over total sum of squares. So you can see it's the part over the whole which is a percentage when you multiply by 100. Um, and those are found by these formulas. So you do y hat minus the mean of y, square it, and you do that for each value, add them all up, and then you do actual y minus the mean of y, square it, add them all up, and then divide all those. So it's actually not very hard to find the coefficient of determination by hand is just subtracting and squaring and adding, so it's really not that difficult. But if you have a large data set, then it can be a little bit tedious. So I really, as always with all my videos, I really like to show you how to use technology instead. So this is a TI-84, and this is the exact same steps as linear regression. So you have to make sure that your diagnostics are turned on. Remember, you go to second zero. And then you're going to hit enter to make sure that it's turned on and done will appear. And then you input your data into stat edit. And then go to stat calc. And you're going to go down to number eight, which is linear regression. And then um, you'll put in your correct list to which variable it is. So in this case, x was L1, y was L2. We hit calculate. And you can see that the top part is your linear regression equation. And then the middle here is the coefficient of determination. And then we'll actually learn this one, what this is in the next video. So this value, 0.8176-ish, means that if, if r squared is supposed to be between 0 and 1, the closer to 1 it is, the stronger or the better fit, sorry, the better fit the equation is for the data. So this was a pretty good fit, pretty strong, pretty good. I keep saying strong, but I mean good. Great. It's great. Moving on. Uh, you can also find this in Fathom. And I showed this in the linear regression equation. That's where you input your data and then pull down model. 
and uh, drag over your variables and it'll give you R squared. So I have this example here. This was the same exact exam example from the last video where we found the uh, regression equation. So I want you to do those same steps again. And this time, instead of writing down the regression equation, I want you to write down the coefficient of determination, which is R squared. And then I want you to decide if it's a good fit or not. So go ahead and pause it and try it and come back and compare. All right, so you should find that R squared equals 0 0.49. And this means that it is moderately useful. And it also means that 49% of the variation in test score data is explained by study time. So that wording came from here where the coefficient of determination gives us a percentage of variation in the observed values, which is test score, based on the response variable, sorry, uh, based on the predictor variable study time, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so that's how you explain that. Um, if you got something less than, you know, about 50%, it's a, not so useful or not so good a fit. And then if you got larger than 50%, like 60% uh, is still probably moderately, but then if you get into the 80s, 90s, that's very useful. So um, that's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know and I would be happy to help.